Greg Beckham, the naturopath from New Zealand. How do you replenish good bacteria when you've had antibiotics? As I mentioned in a previous video, a lot of it depends on the state of your microbiome before you took the antibiotic. But the best way to replenish bacteria is by eating the right type of foods that are conducive to building up the health of the microbiome. That's the intelligent approach, which usually means a plant-based diet with fibers, okay? I'm not saying avoid meat. I don't see meat as being a bad thing in a diet, but I do see it, you know, bad if when you want a 16 ounce steak, you know, once or twice a day, I see that as pretty darn bad, but small amounts of meat here or there have not shown to destroy or wreck the microbiome at all. On the, on the contrary, people with balanced diets, <coughs> who eat a wide range of fruits, vegetables, and lean meats, some legumes, nuts, and seeds, have shown to have a very, very uh, biodiverse gut, you know, hundreds of species. So, all the research I've read from people, for example, that live in the Amazon, uh, you know, indigenous cultures tend to have thousands more species in their digestive system than us Westerners do. And the main reason is because their diet is far more natural and plant-based. No? But the other thing that you must never forget with these people, com compared to us, with these cultures, is their lifestyle. All right? They'll spend hours and hours walking every day. They'll, they'll be quite content doing small tasks. You don't see them on iPads looking at Netflix and stuff like that. They're not, you know, they're people that have got very good physiques and bodies for their age. And it's incredible how um, that really adds to the health of the microbiome. So we can take a leaf out of their book by being far more active, by drinking a lot more fresh water and a lot less Coca-Cola, by eating a lot more plant-based foods. These are the things that will encourage the bacterial uh, biodiversity in our gut. And it makes a lot of sense to me to do that. So replenishing good bacteria is not just about popping a pill. It's about popping the right food in the mouth. Now, I've spoken plenty of times on this channel about the right type of foods to eat to build up digestive health. So make sure you have a look at my videos uh, regarding that on what to eat to build up the gut on the probiotic foods, for example, right? The brightly colored foods. We've spoken so much about this on this channel already. We're talking about things like carrots and sweet potatoes and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and kale and all of the things which I enjoy eating, which I'm sure that a lot of my viewers like eating too. Hazelnuts, would you believe it, are good for the microbiome. So are almonds, an alkaline nut, good to eat. Two or three Brazil nuts a day. All clever things that help to build up and replenish the gut. Kombucha, if your gut can handle it. So the foods you need to be careful of in terms of the rebuild would be kefir and kombucha, especially if you're not accustomed or seasoned to those foods, taking them in regularly. To me, um, having adding kefir to your diet is a little bit like buying a high-performance motorbike. Okay, now you may be used to riding a bicycle, but now you're hopping on a 1,000 cc motorbike with a lot more grunt there and power, and can cause a lot of damage if you don't know how to handle it properly. Kefir is no different. I've seen people that will drink a pint of kefir a day. You know, literally two, three times a day they're drinking kefir, thinking it's going to help their gut. And then, of course, you know, several days later, I get the email that they've got explosive diarrhea and serious cramping in their digestive system. And, you know, you don't hop on that motorbike and go around a racetrack on the first week you've got it and expect not to come off. Right? It can take a while before you get the skill set in knowing how to operate the machine. And then after a while, you know exactly how to operate that machine. Now, Keith is no different. Now, yogurt, I would put more in the scooter category, to be honest. Right? especially sour Greek yogurt, small amounts. And again, we don't want a big scooter, we want a little scooter, so we start maybe even with a few teaspoons. If you're not accustomed to the um, cultured foods, fermented foods, start small, and then a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. It's gentle. This is how I started with sauerkraut years ago. And I'm now I'm just starting now with tempeh to make tempeh cultures and to add a lot more tempeh, the fermented soybean into my diet. So always start small. And this is how you rebuild your gut. And as you're building up those levels of those things like sauerkraut or, you know, kefirs down the track, remember, wait till you're a bit better. So the yogurt, the sauerkraut, miso if you can tolerate it, and 
as you build up and build up more and more remember to support that also with the correct types of vegetables plenty of steamed vegetables and, and salads now that it's summertime in the northern hemisphere you can add a lot of fresh herbs all sorts of things into your diet and that with the addition of the probiotic will rebuild the gut and it can take three weeks up to one year depending remember uh, what we said before in other videos depending on on how long you're antibiotic for is it a repeat prescription were you drinking coca-cola and eating fries before you had the antibiotics so all these things account for your recovery time if you play the game right you'll recover really fast and that's what i wanted to say on how to replenish your good bacteria and the last thing i'll leave you with it's the p word it's called patience thanks for tuning in